Welcome back to the 8th episode of SPSS Masterclass for Beginners. Here we are breaking down the statistical analysis software known as SPSS. So in the last video, we discussed as to how can we calculate the correlation in SPSS. Now I'm going to show you how to do a linear regression in SPSS. So without further ado, let's look into the 8th episode of SPSS Masterclass for Beginners. Hey guys, my name is Shardul, hailing from Shavash Tutorials and creator of shavash.co.in. I am also a junior research fellow at Indian Institute of Information Technology, Allahabad. Before we begin the masterclass, if you are interested in any tech product, software or language, be it for coding or research purposes, then be sure to subscribe by clicking the red subscribe button on this channel and also the bell icon next to it so that you never miss an update. Also, there is a complete playlist of the masterclass in the description so that you can go to the other videos when you are done with this one. Just click on the link and it will take you to the complete playlist. So let's look at our data. The data that we are using here is being used throughout the masterclass series and you can download the link of the data file from the description in order to follow along with me. It is saved under the name episode8data.sav for your reference. So what we have here is an SPSS data file with an independent variable and a dependent variable. So regression builds off of correlation in that is it deals with the degree of the relationship between two variables. But it goes one step further in allowing us to predict the value of one variable if we know another. But the accuracy of the prediction will depend on the strength of the correlation between these two variables. Regression allows you to look at one or more independent variables and see how well they predict the score of one dependent variable. We call the independent variable a predictor variable also and the dependent variable as an outcome variable. So the example that we have here is a fictitious data so don't expect your height to actually affect your performance of any kind. So the dependent variable here is the performance of the participants and the independent variable is the height of the participants. We can see that these are 13 participants and there are only 10 valid scores of both the variables. Just by looking at the data, we cannot actually tell how the height of the participant affects their performance. So basically what happens is, if there is a relationship between these two variables, we can use the values of the predictor variable to predict the values of the outcome variable. Ultimately, we are going to end up with a regression equation. It looks like this, which is on the screen. y is equals to a plus bx, where y is the dependent variable or the outcome variable, x is the independent or the predictor variable, a is the y-intercept and b is the slope of the regression line. So once we have all the information we need, we essentially entail down to the observations of our data which we have here then it is fairly easy to perform a simple regression in SPSS. We go to analyze and then there is a clear button of regression. Now there are multiple types of regressions that are given here and the choice of a regression depends on the type of relationship that exists between the two variables. Here we are looking into the linear regression, so we will select linear. In the window that has popped up, we can see that there is a dependent variable box and an independent variable box. Since we are using height to predict performance, so the height will go to the independent box and performance will go to the dependent box. All we are going to do next is click OK. So we get a bunch of tables which is lot more than we really need. The first box that we see is letting us know what variables are being used to predict what variable. In this case, we can see that the height is being used to measure the performance of the participants. The next is the model summary and our ANOVA table. 
the first thing that we need to look is the ANOVA table. This table lets us know if our variable is a significant model. If the model isn't significant, nothing else matters. We determine the significance by looking at the significance value of the model. In this case, the significance is 0 0.000, which is less than 0 0.05. Therefore, the model is significant. Then we go back to our model summary and look at our R square value. The R before it is the correlation coefficient. When you multiply these values individually by 100, this gives you the percentage of the variance in the dependent variable explained by the independent variable. In this case, we would say that 97% of the variance in performance can be explained by the height of the participants. If we go down to the very bottom box, let me go down there, we can see the coefficients table. In order to determine the regression equation, we're going to look at the unstandardized coefficients. 0 0.340 is the slope of the regression line or B of the equation. The value 5.849 is the y-intercept of the constant or a of the equation. Thus, the equation would look like y is equals to 0 0.340x plus 5.849. The equation essentially means that with every change of 1 cm in height, that much change must happen in the performance of the participants. The change is 0 0.340x plus 5.849. To determine whether or not the slope is significant, we go to the significance value at the right and we see that it is significant. So you can change the value of x that is height and start predicting the value of y that is performance. There is a lot more that can be done in regression but this should definitely get you started with it. So yeah, that's how it's done. So that right there is how you calculate a linear regression in SPSS. In the next video, we will explore how to perform a chi-squared test in SPSS. If you enjoyed it, make sure to subscribe and hit the bell icon so that you do not miss the next video of the SPSS Masterclass series. So thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next episode of the Masterclass series.